Okay, so we're going to be doing something a little bit different rather than actually doing a uh, live stream. We're actually doing a sign of recording, so this is going to be interesting. Although I'm looking and talking like I'm actually still doing a stream. So, we're doing medieval. Uh, just a short demo. Uh, from what I'm aware, it's only two levels. So, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Uh, it could be 10 minutes, it could be half an hour, depends on how quickly I can get through it. Uh, I've moved, well, I've played this game back on PS1. And, yeah, it was a lot. Of, I was really obsessed with it. So, I've still got the disc. But, we're going to be playing the remastered version. At least the first, I think it's the first two levels we can play. And it's got all the intro cutscenes to it and everything, so. I'm just hoping that the game isn't too loud. I'm doing this in one take. In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galamir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe. And how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir. And a time of peace began which was to last for a hundred years. And then, the sorcerer returned. I need to turn light. Just to revise some lighting. I'm going to just hide my face for this.
Well then. Now the intro. Okay, let's sort out the options first. Invert look, turn that off. Screen brightness, colour blind settings, system language, wherever they are. Um, brightness. Oh, okay. Ah. Okay. Anyway, let's start. <laughs> Depending on how the HUD is, I'll move my camera around. I mean, for this, I'll just turn it off. But Here we go. It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Serac and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. <clears throat> okay, so it's a little bit different. Oh. Walk up to a book and press triangle to read it. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Okay. Oh, we can actually go up here. In the original game, you couldn't. Golems look a lot. Well, gargoyles, even. Golems. They look a lot different. Hang on a sec. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, let's walk into it, that's fine. Hello. Dan's helmet. Okay. I guess we have to wait for a bit. I've got an email saying thanks. Anyway, so. Okay. Let's jump. Square. Ripped off my arm. Circle is to the same thing. 
when you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a runestone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. I think Dan's head is broken a bit. <laughs> life bottle? I guess this one's talking about life bottle. You will find yeah. life bottles throughout Galamir. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. Yeah, so this is pretty much like I've got 300 health. I think it only stays at 300. Um, it doesn't grow anymore. Like you have the life bottles and everything. So as you find more life bottles, you can almost gain health. It's almost basically like a second chance. Any treasure that you find will be added to your coin total. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. In the original, they never had the voice, like a voice actor, doing this. So it'll be interesting to see what would be what would happen when it comes to like the massive paragraphs of writing that some of these have, because some of them are really lengthy. Open it, don't worry. Well, I got throne daggers. Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Yes, so... Press and hold circle to charge weapon. That's cool. No, I was able to cancel that. Star room. Water effects really fucking nice. I think in the original game it had it as well. Copper shield. And a sword. We're trying to toggle between two weapons. Yeah, that's fine. So how do I block? Oh. Okay, that's a over the shoulder preview. And that's R2. R1. No. L2 is the camera lock. And R1 is shield. Shield stands. Cool. During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your Book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. <laughs> Such a way of his own entity. So circle is a charge attack, square is an auto attack. Okay. Oh, I have a charge in this, you can like keep your shield up and then almost like dash. I don't know if that was an ability or not, though. Track down Zerok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galamir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. <laughs> so he was in here before. Nice.
The map looks interesting. I like the look of the map. Let's go to the graveyard. From what I'm aware, this is the only level, other level you can play other than the crypt. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, hello. I don't think you can actually interact with the hands. I know in Medieval 2 you could. I don't think you can in the first game. Some gold. Welcome back to your beloved Galamere. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living. And they want to do it over your dead body. It's emphasis on the dead body. I do like the health by the fact it's more liquid state. So I'm somewhere within that crypt. Game runs really fucking smoothly. I love the moon. Very nice. We'll be going there in about a month's time. It's interesting how they've made, done that though, but I don't think they actually did it in the original, so I wonder if you can see other levels. That small light following you around is a wisp. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs, but when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. He will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks. But he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. Cool. New. I'll pick up, hang on a sec. Right, this is the inventory. Okay. So you got quick short, quick shortcut things. Weak against allies, but everything else. Oh, we get and everything else. Oh, hello. Wait a minute, what? Quick to curse your enemies are now more deadly. Screw it. Stop it. Well, I see, that's actually pretty cool. So, how more deadly are these? It's probably hard to tell. What else we needed? Don't let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. Nice. Okay, so I think they do seem a bit more... Powerful. Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamere. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. Yeah, there are a lot of hidden secrets in this game.
just make me want to go back to um, playing the classic medieval. Trying to be in preparation for this. Oh, hello. Hidden under the gaze of an angel. Yeah, I know these. Yeah, so I got stuck on. I remember getting confused with this. Um, in PS4 when I was a lot, yeah, a lot younger. I don't understand that hint because the same hints in um, the original game, but it's basically whatever she can't see opens. Or no, whatever she sees is opened. Because in the original, it didn't show the face very well. I'll probably again look like a fucking idiot now when I go back to the original game and see some gameplay and it's got an angel face. So. Yeah, it's got So let's open this door. Found the second one. There's nothing else here. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Well, for a second, he was taking cover. Of Next to the statue, then. The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. And we shall revisit him in months' time. I definitely can't actually see him yet. Chest can be collected. Anything up here? No. Okay. Let's collect the chalice. Object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a soul, the chalice fills <clears> a little <throat> more. Fill the chalice and then collect it, and you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. Ooh. It's not how the camera angle changes. Nice, we've got the chalice. But well, I don't think we can actually go to the Hall of Heroes. To get a bit more to actually kill. Oh! She was almost broken. We 
but you're more active than the previous game. You are weird. He was very sinister. Okay! He was very sinister in the um, first game. Because in the first game he was just like, kind of just knit his eyes up, he never moved or anything. He's bugged out with a feather, he can't actually pick it up. Ah, better. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. Okay, hey, come on. Let's go across. I think later on we can go down there, possibly. Tread softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum. Hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. I'm glad that you, they use the original voices. Ah, yeah, so that's the tower that we have to climb later. Can we actually. Oh, no, we can't view that. Okay. But yeah, we do physically actually need to go up there. And that's the end. I've already pre-ordered it, so that's that. You're just gonna play the outro again? In a time long ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. I've seen it already. <laughs> so what worse guys are these? I can know for their fleet. Oh, foot. Cool. <laughs> Don't want to start a new game. We'll leave it on that screen. So, thank you for watching this short demo playthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. See you whenever. Yeah, see you guys in the next video.